Wow. So as you heard, Bitcoin once again making headlines, not in a good way either. I want to bring in a man who has no problem giving his opinion on what he thinks of the digital currency and most other things for that matter. Joining me now on the phone, the host of the Ron Paul channel, former Congressman Dr. Ron Paul. Thank you so much for joining us. What do you think of what's going on with Mt. Gox? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm not too surprised about it, uh, but to me, the only disappointment is is that we haven't seen real good competition, you know, with our dollar. I still think gold and silver is the real competition, so I'm not, I'm not surprised uh, at all what's, what's happening. I uh, never predicted that uh, this, this type of digital currency is going to be able to replace it someday. It might help. Uh, you know, substitute for it once the Fed destroys the dollar, which is a, which is inevitable, and then other things will come about. But I've been so much involved in hard assets and something you can hold and touch. Uh, I was so you don't like the idea of a digital currency. Well, I like the idea of competition. If somebody else can figure something out and they don't commit fraud, see, there's a lot of questions now about whether there has been any fraud. So no, the concept. I want to make it legal, and I want to. I want competing currencies, but no fraud. And uh, I think uh, I believe that a digital currency w was legitimate, and the government should never interfere and close it down. That's my biggest uh, concern. But but doesn't this all make you know sort of an argument for government regulation? Because you look at the amount of money that now people can't find, whether it's disappeared or not. You know, three hundred and fifty million dollars. Um, you know, in, in digital currency that has now been separated from its rightful owners, no one has any idea where it is. That seems right. to be a cry to bring in regulators, and, and, you know, one such regulator was on just before you. What good has the regulators ever done? We've been having super regulation since uh, the 1930s, and we've sure had a lot of booms and busts and inflation. Well, but, if it, but if a bank goes out of business, I mean, there's a, you, you, can, you can get your money back. It's insured. You know where it is. That if well, you're not that's, physically that's holding your money than, in your uh, hand, go ahead. Actually, that's uh, one of our biggest problems is that creates the moral hazard, and that is why banks, when they get free money, and then they can make all the mistakes in the world and they're always guaranteed, they're the source of your financial bubble. So that in itself is a problem. The market regulates. If, if, uh, if, if, they're, if it's not there and the consumers know about it, uh, you know, the, the, the producers get punished. So I think, I think the market is much tougher. Today, you know, Five years ago, when we had our crisis, a lot of people were bankrupt in big trouble, and the regulators came in and bailed out all the people who were ripping us off. So the regulators are the regulations are always written by the people who are getting regulators. So the banks, you know, get control of the regulators as well as the congressmen, and they write they write the rules. So it doesn't do any good to have these regulations. I think the regulations of the marketplace yeah. that you suffer the consequence, you go bankrupt. Uh, if you don't do right, but if you bail out the people who make the mistakes and put the burden on the middle class and the poor, uh, then you can't cry for more regulation. Director Borg, who was on right before much. you, was saying that you know people don't understand the risk involved with Bitcoin and they don't understand the hazard, and that's why government needs to get involved. What do you think about that? Oh, I think it's silly, uh, if, and that's about where my position was. I didn't get involved because I sure didn't understand it. And I said, well, what would I do that for? I, I mean, nobody's been able to tell me, you know, what this alternative currency is like, although I endorse the principle. But if, if you ask me to define an alternative currency in gold, let me tell you, I can show it to you and I can have you feel it and touch it and put it in your pocket. But nobody knew anything like that when it okay. comes to a digital currency. Dr. Paul, thanks so much for coming on. Okay. Up next.